We start tonight with it's become one of the fastest growing communities in Horry County, but Carolina Forest isn't just building homes anymore. Ian Klein's live at the newest shopping center there along Carolina Forest Boulevard. And Ian, some folks have noticed an increase in traffic due to a lack of traffic signals. Tell us more. Yeah, Rachel, the only one you'll see at this new mill shopping center off of Carolina Forest Boulevard is the one directly behind me, which is the connection over towards River Oaks Drive, taking you over to International. So getting in and out is kind of tough here, which is one of those ongoing issues. A lot of residents told me is the fact that Horry County just continues to lack infrastructure when it comes to keeping up with the growth and development. We just have to catch up with our roadways and other infrastructure. From a grocery store, gas station, restaurants, and a four-story apartment complex, a lot is being built along the intersection of Carolina Forest Boulevard and River Oaks Drive. Former Carolina Forest Civic Association president and longtime Carolina Forest resident, Bo Ives, says he's been watching this community grow for over 20 years. The lights are timed longer now, so you wanna get through that light so you don't have to sit there for five minutes. Uh, and it's it's that frustration that's building countywide. It isn't just here. With more than 40,000 residents living along Carolina Forest Boulevard, many traffic issues were addressed several years ago when the road was widened and new traffic signals were installed. However, some believe those improvements are already in need of an upgrade in certain areas. We're not against rezoning um, and smart building. What we're against up the infrastructure and, and to be honest we're over 20 years behind in infrastructure probably close to the 30 years Ives and Van Stickler recently served on the Ride for Advisory Committee and say the infrastructure issue goes far beyond Carolina Forest and we're not meeting what people really came here for or those who were grew up here want to maintain it's a 30-year problem for Horry County and somehow Horry County and the people need to work on it and, and get that infrastructure in place. Ives and Van Sickler are trying to encourage as many people as they can here in Carolina Forest to start getting more involved within Horry County, whether that's going to just Horry County Council meetings, speaking during some public hearings, or even just getting involved in subcommittees. They hope by voicing their concerns, they'll help be able to find solutions and try to control some of the growth and improving our infrastructure throughout Horry County. Live in Carolina Forest tonight, Ian Klein, WMBF News.